Hello students let us start our today's question let us find out what all information given into the question the first important information is the probability that a male patient has prostate cancer before testing is 0.02 the probability of a false positive test is 0.75 it means the probability that test gave positive result for cancer while patient has no cancer is 0.75 the probability of a false negative test is 0.20 it shows the probability that test gave negative result when patient actually has cancer is 0.20 right there are some event defined in pre defined in the question the event c it shows the patient has prostate cancer event plus sign it shows that psa test gives positive result minus it shows that psa sign gave negative result let us start our solution probability that male patient has prostate cancer is 0.02 so probability of event c will be equal to 0.02 false positive test is the probability of a false positive test is 0.75 so conditional probability that test with positive reveal result given that patient do not have cancer is 0.75 the probability of false negative test is 0.20 means the conditional probability that test gave negative result given that patient has cancer is 0.20 now we need to find some more probabilities before continuing to part a so using the complement rule the probability using the complement rule of probability the probability that male patient has no prostate cancer is probability c dash is equal to 0.98 using the complement rule the probability of a true positive test is that is the conditional probability or that test give positive result given that patient has cancer is 0.80 using the and the last probability we need to find using the complement rule of probability the probability of a true negative test means the conditional probability that test give negative result given that patient do not have cancer is 0.25 now in first part we need to calculate the conditional probability that a male patient has prostate cancer given that test come back positive right so here we need to use bayes theorem using the bayes theorem the probability the conditional probability that patient has cancer given that test give positive result will be equal to this one putting values in this formula the probability that male patient has prostate cancer given that test if positive result is 0.0213 now let us come to part b here we need to find the probability that male patient has prostate cancer given that test if negative result right that is we need to find conditional probability that patient has cancer given that test give negative result use again using the bayes theorem this probability will be equal to this formula putting values in this formula we get 0.0161 and so the probability that male patient has prostate cancer if the test comes back negative is 0.0161 now in part c we will consider older men for older men the 
prior probability that male patient has prostate cancer is 0.3 that is now our probability of event C becomes 0.3 the conditional probabilities remain same S in part A and B using the complement rule the probability as a male patient that a older male patient has no prostate cancer before testing is 0.70 like we do in part A and B, the probability that older male patient has prostate cancer given that test comes back positive using the waste theorem is this one. Putting values in this, we got the probability that older male patient has prostate cancer given that test come positive is 0.3137. Here, we need to change the value of probability of event C and probability of complement of event C. Means this and this. Conditional probabilities remain same as in part E. Right? Now comes to second part of part C. Here we need to find out the probability that male patient has prostate, male, that older male patient has prostate cancer given that tends, given that test comes back negative right so again using the waste theorem the required probability will be equal to this one putting values we get 0.2553 now we need to compare the results of part a b c Probability that a male patient has prostate cancer if test comes back positive is 0 0.0213, which is, which is actually very low. It should be little high. And in part B, B, we found the probability that a male patient has prostate cancer given that PSA test comes back negative is 0 0.0161, which is low and it should be low, right? So, because this should be high, so we can't say the test is very much accurate. We can say it is not very, it is not very accurate, right? As the prior probability for older patient increases, so both probabilities of part C increases. 